Hey guys, a lot of schools will have started GCSE in the last term of year 9, if not at the beginning of year 9. And I know maybe this didn't feel like it was a great idea for you at the beginning, but you'll be thanking your school by the time you get through to year 11, because this is such a good idea. Because the earlier you start, the more time you have to get your head around stuff, the more time you have to revise. Now we are about to go into the summer holidays, the year 11s have finished their exams, they are off, uh, hopefully enjoying themselves and hopefully they're not stressing too much, um, but if you want to get a little bit of a head start on um, the rest of your course, if you want to get a little bit head start so you're not quite so stressed when it comes through to year 11, then there are some useful stuff you can be doing over the summer. And I'm not talking about doing hours and hours and hours and loads and loads of revision, just like a bit here and a bit there. And it's things like, things that you just have to remember, things that are pure recall. So things like your um, your key terms, your keywords, um, things like your vocab in languages, things like your um, quotes in English, your equations, your um, units in physics, things like flame tests. In chemistry for loads of this stuff I've got flashcards already over on my website for you or you can find loads of these flashcards on Quizlet and you can sit there on your phone doing them these are the sort of things that will come up over and over and over again in your exams and it's not as if in year 11 your teacher's gonna spend a whole lesson so that you can remember all of the equations that you need to remember. It's just kind of sort of thing that happens as you're going along. So if you can actually spend some time, actually dedicate some time to learning them now before you go into year 10, then you are really, really gonna find yourself in a good position when that comes round. If you can just be given a set of like equations in physics or in maths, or given a set of like a poem in English and you know it, because you spent this summer remembering it, then you're gonna be in a much better position than those people that didn't do that already. Also over the summer, have a look at the stuff you did in year nine, especially any bits that you didn't understand or any lessons that you missed or any lessons that kind of like, you know, you didn't miss, you understood at the time, but now looking back at it, you really have no idea what was going on in that lesson. And then use this summer to kind of like, you know, look at those pages in the textbook, look at the pages in your notes, watch videos on it, and try and like work out what was going on in that lesson that you missed or you didn't understand. Because that lesson is now done. The chances of your teachers going back over that exact same lesson or back over that course in year 11 is very, very slim. That's probably not going to happen. So it's really important that any stuff that you didn't get, that any stuff that you know you missed, you spend a little bit of time going over and catching up that work. Because if you missed a lesson in April of year nine, that could easily come up as a six mark question in the exam, but you're not gonna go over that stuff again in school. So it's really important that any stuff you do miss or have missed or do miss in the future, you catch up as quickly as possible. And then obviously it's the summer holidays coming up, so please try and enjoy yourself as much as possible. Um, I am gonna be sending summer holidays, I'm gonna have like, oh, I think I've got a week off, and then I'm gonna be sending summer holidays looking what students didn't do very well on in this year's set of exams and then writing a load of questions so that you guys don't make the same mistakes that this year's students did. Um, so I already have a few ideas of what I'm going to do. I'm going to do loads and loads of research, loads and loads of looking at data um, and then I'm going to adapt what I do to help you guys better. Um, and then we're going to be starting with like, you know, more maths videos, more science videos, geography videos. I'm going to try and get some language videos up for you as well. Um, more hot topic videos, um, revision timetables so that you guys don't have to think about what you're advising when. I'm just going to give you a list and say this is what you're advising on this day so that you don't have to think about what to revise or how to revise because I've already done that thinking for you. Um, so all of that will be coming, um, it will be ready for you in September. So if you have a load of my stuff and you haven't printed it off and you're planning on spending a couple of days printing a load of stuff off, um, just wait until September when I come back and do this video again and show you all the new stuff that I've got for you. Um, so enjoy your summer holiday guys, um, yeah, enjoy your summer holidays.